today we will be discussing application of combination uh, it is uh, basically uh, calculated using the uh, notation ncr which can be um, expressed as factorial n by n minus r and in, that is uh, can be related with npr uh, as npr by factorial r and it is being uh, very simply uh, seen that npr by factorial r that is ncr is also equal to n c n minus r that is if i take 10 c 3 the answer will be as same as 10 c 7 the reason is 10 factorial by if i take 10 minus 3 that is 7 factorial and then uh, 3 factorial but it is the same uh, for this also so the final result is 120 in both cases therefore it is a very important point that uh, in combination ncr is also equal to nc n minus r now uh, using this idea we have one or two questions like this uh, first uh, if n c this is a formula we can say this is a con not formula this is a relation ncx is equal to ncy then we can say that x should be equal to y or x plus y should be n this is a very important point for solving this type of questions like uh, if 18 c r plus 2 is equal to 18 c r find r now here what we can do if you look at this r plus 2 and this r and this 2 r 18 then what we can say r plus 2 plus r that means x plus y x plus y is equal to 18 or r is equal to r plus 2 which is not possible r plus 2 is equal to r is not possible so our uh, final idea will be 2r is 16 that is r is 8 therefore uh, to solve these type of problems where uh, a n c x is equal to n c y uh, we used to use the idea of x plus y is equal to n in most of the cases in some cases we can take x is equal to y also which is not possible in the previous example now let us take the uh, another example before that i have one uh, practical problem like this uh, uh, 14 players among how many cricket teams of 11 players can be selected how many teams of 11 players can be selected from 14 players so it is a case of selected therefore selection means uh, we have uh, combination so what we will be finding 14 c 11 and the result will be factorial 14 by 3 factorial into factorial 11 that means uh, 14 into 13 into 12 divided by 1 into 2 into 3 364 so total 364 ways of selecting a team now if we add one more point how many of these teams always include the captain how many teams include always include the captain always include the captain that means uh, captain is present in the team then what will be the number of selection so this case we have already taken the captain in the team therefore we don't need to take the captain uh, again already uh, we have one player so it will be not 11 players to be selected we need to take 10 players but now 14 players are not present we have 13 players and we need to take 10 players so the result will be 13 c 10 which is 13 factorial by 3 factorial into 10 factorial and the result is 278 now uh, it can be actually viewed as this way 12, 13 into 12 into 11 divided by 10 factorial is cancelled 1 into 2 into 3 we have cancelled this by 2 and we have found the result uh, i think i have given uh, wrongly in the previous case it will be 286 sorry i have given 278 that is 270 286 now therefore 286 uh, ways of selecting the team where captain is always present number two if i take how many cricket teams exclude the captain how many teams exclude the captain therefore uh, now the captain is not included the team in the team therefore we are having 14 minus 1 13 players but team should be formed as it is 11 players team it will be 13 factorial by 2 factorial into 11 factorial and it is 78 now one interesting observation we can find there's an important result also if you add this two that means 13 c 11 plus 13 c 10 that means 
the teams where captain is always present that is 13c10 and 13c11 captain is not present if you add it is coming to be 364 and we have discussed before that that is 4c11 so what we are finding the total number of selections of any number of items will be equal to the uh, any particular object is always taken plus any particular object is never taken we can uh, generalize the idea by writing this formula ncr plus ncr minus 1 is always n plus 1 cr if you compare 13 c 11 that is 13 c 11 is n cr plus 13 c 10 that is r minus 1 is 10 will be equals to 13 plus 1 14 c r is 11 this is the idea now this is very important idea uh, we have one more point in combination which is very important also that is uh, at least something which is minimum at least two means minimum two maximum uh, is at most maximum two if i say then it will be at most two so minimum means we are taking maximum minimum is or less sorry or more not or less this is or more and in the case of mini maximum it will be or less that means if i take an example to form a team of 11 players from 7 batsmen and 5 6 bowlers such that such that at least number one at least first of all let us take simple example such that number one uh, six batsmen and five bowlers are present this is a simple example next one second part of the question is uh, not six batsmen only it is not saying six batsmen it is saying at least six batsmen are present at least six batsmen are present and third question is at most six batsmen are present so we are discussing three types of examples in the first case seven batsmen four bowlers uh, total uh, we have to take 11 players but the condition is we have to take six batsmen and save five bowlers that means total 11 players so what we will do what we used to solve uh, how we used to solve we can consider a, a concept like table seven batsmen six bowlers what we'll do we have to take six batsmen from this and it's a very important point five bowlers from this six bowlers so if you take this case total 11 players are taken 7 c6 for batsman and we have to take 6 c5 for bowlers since both batsman and bowlers are to be included we will multiply that means 6 this will be the result for 7 c6 and it will be and the final result will be your 7 into 6 that is 42 so this is the idea first question is a straight the second part the second part is at least seven at least six batsmen second part is not this method it will be six or more that means six batsmen five bowlers or seven batsmen four bowlers we cannot take any more batsmen because we have only seven batsmen so our result will be six uh, seven c 6 into 6 c5 as we have done before or means plus that is alternative results it will be 7 c7 into 6 c4 the final result is 7 into 6 as we have done it is 1 into 6 c4 is 15 so the total will be 42 plus 15 that is 57 so this is the second part and the third part what we are discussing is uh, at most six batsmen that means not more than six batsmen so the third one will be six batsmen five bowlers or five batsmen six bowler here we cannot uh, we should not increase the number because it is at most we should decrease the number of batsmen 
but we cannot take more than uh, this six pads molars because already there we have total six molars so our result will be 7c6 into 6c5 as we have done in the first two cases 7c5 into 6c6 and it is one uh, this is 7 into 5 sorry 7 into 6 plus uh, 21 into 1 so 42 plus 21 that is 63 cases so therefore we are having different type of questions in combination and the ideas are very straight we have to take uh, and means uh, we have to multiply and alternative cases we will be adding now let us take uh, one straight question that is uh, number of handshakes whenever we say number of handshakes among n persons then we just take their combinations that is among n persons uh, how many handshakes it will be nc2 similarly number of straight lines all are non-collinear means they are not on the straight line they are on different straight lines the number of n uh, number of straight lines uh, among, uh, joining in uh, non-collinear points it's better to say non-collinear it is also nc2 number of triangles by joining uh, n points all are non-collinear will be nc3 this is the uh, ideas uh, when we find some questions of this kind uh, one more formula we have in combination that is nc1 is added with nc2 up to ncn in shortcut we have a formula to the power n minus 1 and the application of this formula can be how many different uh, ways a person can invite one or more friends if he has a person can invite one or more friends one or more friends if he has eight friends so person has eight friends how many ways he can invite one or more friends one or more friends so how many different ways a person can invite one or more friends if he has eight friends the answer will be hc1 because he is inviting one friend or means plus hc2 in this way if he added all the possibilities then he will take he will be required he will, we will be requiring some time but instead of doing that longer method we can use 2 to the power 8 minus 1 that is 255 ways Another problem we can uh, see that uh, how many ways a student can answer one or more questions from algebra and one or more questions from geometry if there are three algebra and three uh, geometry questions. In this case uh, for algebra we have uh, total possibility will be as before 2 to the power 3 minus 1 because uh, one or more questions can be answered from algebra that is three questions are algebra and that is seven possibilities uh, and for geometry it will be uh, similarly 2 to the power uh, we have 5 minus 1 that is 31 therefore if i consider both subtopics together the answer will be 7 into 31 that is 217 so total number of ways of answering uh, any one or more question from algebra or and one or more question from geometry uh, from what this question will be 217 ways so i have completed my discussion of combination application of combination today and uh, uh, in this uh, discussion i have tried to give all different types of problems of mainly related to simple ideas of combination